hi everyone welcome back to my channel it's leslie here from elegant edges and today i have this really cute little treat holder this time not for the children but for the grown-ups and if you're addicted like i am to tea you might find this useful so it's a little matchbook case and inside there's a treat that i um a holder a little pouch that i've made out of some lovely thick craft consortium happy haunting paper and it, it really is it's kind of debatable whether it's thin card or thick paper but it's lovely substantial paper so that's more than strong enough to make a pouch with so that's what we're going to make today so really simple one basic piece of card and um, we're going to decorate it and make it into a little adult treat so I've continued to find enough scraps I'm getting a bit desperate now this is my base and this is the width of a4 eight and a quarter by three and a half across at three and a half make sure I've got the scoring tool here on my trimmer three and a half then we need a little gusset so we're going to go to three and three quarters and then we need the flap that folds up at the bottom so we're going right across to seven and a half and that's as bad as difficult as that bit gets and then while i've got the trimmer we're going to do the uh, inside pocket so this is narrower this is two and three quarters by seven so you want your design going that way and we are going to score at two and three quarters at three at three and a quarter so that's the front of the pocket and the gusset and then we're going to go across to the other side we're going to go to six six and a quarter which is just there and six and a half and that leaves me a little tab just to join the two together and i'm hoping that's all our hard work done so i'm going to start with the actual pouch so i'm going to fold that end tab under i am going to find my bone folder there it is so that's going to join it together and then we want to make a nice little expandable pouch so we're going to go valley fold then we've had a mountain then we're going to do a valley then another mountain so that makes one side seam and we're going to go across to the other side I'm just trying to make sure it's all in line so we've got a mountain, then a valley, which I could have scored it. I'm always very gentle with paper. I forget Craft Consortium is so thick and such lovely high quality that you can actually score it a little harder. As I said, it's because it's debatable whether it's paper or card. It's beautiful. Okay, so we're just going to check that pop it all together I've got my join at the back which sounds sensible okay so that makes a little expandable pouch I'm going to pop some glue you could use your adhesive of choice along here whether it's tape or wet glue I like wet glue because I can have a little wiggle and I'm being careful to join up the edge and the top The bottom doesn't matter because we're going to actually hide that away. Right. That's the hard work done with that. So that can be there to dry. So this is our base. We're going to do a mountain here. So that's the bottom. Then the next fold is going to go down. Lining up the edges. And then we want another mountain at the one underneath. Making sure the edges, yep, the edges are there. Okay. 
So there we have our base already. <clears throat> so we're going to actually pop our pocket in. So we're going to make it pop it in the center down to this first crease. You know it's not too critical. We're just going to do it by eye. Push that little fold up. I'm going to get a stapler and I'm going to staple, but not right up the top. I need to go down low enough so that I catch the pocket in, but I've still got a flap. There we are. So now my pocket, my pouch is inside. The front can fold in there and now we're just going to decorate. So to decorate, I have some of my very rare paper left. Pop that in the middle. This is so easy to decorate. What I've done in the six by six pads, you get a sheet with four designs. I had one odd one and a second sheet, so I've just cannibalized one and I'm going to decoupage it. So this is going there and I'm going to stick it down flat because in case, well, in case I have to post it, pop this, now it could do with being higher than the bottom, just up a little because we're going to tuck that bit in, but it doesn't matter if we cut his feet off. Okay, we're just checking that. There we are. That looks okay. I'm happy with that. And then I'm going to decoupage this. So I've got some foam pads. So bring in, no, not that, my, my little prototype. Pop some foam pads on this layer here we go just a few one in the middle maybe okay whoops I'm going to pop just a tiny dab of glue on the back of these pads. Not because they don't stick, but in, just in case I have to have a little wiggle. And I'm going to try and line this up without getting my head in the camera. Looks about right. And just by popping that on pads, it looks better. Now, what I haven't cut, of course, is a strip for this. Have I got enough of that green? Oh, scraps, precious scraps. Where have I put my green? Haha, a little bit there. That'll do. Bring back in the trimmer. I think half an inch should be enough. And we had it three and a quarter, three and a quarter. Just check. Perfect. Pop that on the bottom. And then that hides my staple. What I might do is find a couple of words and pop them on here. But if not, I think that looks quite nice as it is. So there we are. Pop our tea bag inside. 
the lid in the base. Let me have a little tidy. That looks better. And there are our tea bag treat pouches for a magic brew. I called it that because sometimes a good cup of tea does wonders. So I hope you like that very quick, easy project. Thanks ever so much for watching. See you again soon. Bye.